Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be solving a previous year question for the preparation of cognizant of campus drive and this is an actual question that was asked in the previous years for cognizant so if you're targeting gen c next gen c pro or gen c this video is for you number 1 and before i dive in deep into this video go ahead follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss any update and do comment below this video whatever doubt you are facing or if you need something from my end then you can post it in comments and top 3 comments might find a chance to win a prep insta prime subscription for free for 3 months alongside that whatever i'll be teaching please take a register please take a notebook and jot down the things that you feel are very very important fine apart from that you'll have some group links some community links in the description box go ahead join them out because i'll be sharing this ppt if you guys tell me if you guys put 100 comments for ppt asking for ppt i'll definitely share it out in the groups in the communities that we have built fine alongside that i can also bring a few aptitude videos for you i can request my team to bring aptitude videos for you but for that you need to make sure that this video should go very very high in watching and when this video becomes successful we'll be happy to help you out so go ahead share this video if you like but before that padhai pe focus karo padhte hain acha lage to dekhenge share mein theek hai pehle abhi pad lete as simple as that and do subscribe if you want such content but let's let's go ahead and understand what was the problem statement so there is a person bohra who went to a movie with his friends in a wave theater and during break time he bought pizzas puffs and co cold drinks fine or cool drinks fine i don't know why my team felt that it should be written as cool drinks but fine this also is grammatically correct so some cold drinks pizza puffs and this was bought by bohra and 100 rupees per pizza this is the cost of one pizza fine alongside that 20 rupees per puff so basically each puff costs 20 rupees and each cool drink not cold drink remember cool drink fine is of 10 rupees fine now in this case you have to generate a bill for what vohra has bought easy peasy question for those who have practiced a bit they'll say it is a cake walk for those who haven't see this will be the level of questions one question will come of this level so don't worry gen c crack karna mushkil nahi hai theek hai all you need is hard work perseverance patience and practice okay so now they have given a sample input and sample output so number of pizzas he has bought 10 pizzas i don't know what kind of appetite all his friends have that they can eat 10 pizzas fine along that number of puffs bought 12 fine so these are not humans these are some eating freaks they love eating i guess so enter the number of pizzas bought 10 and number of puffs bought 12 and number of cool drinks again cool drinks bought 5 now in this case remember one thing all the items that they have bought will be separately entered in the input so basically in input you will ask that enter the number of pizzas fine enter the number of puffs bought enter the number of cool drinks bought fine so in this case when you are asking them this will be the input and then output comes where you will be giving out number of pizzas number of puffs number of cold drinks and total price the total grand total of bill fine here you can ignore gst and all you just need to simply present the cost of all the products that they have bought the total grand total of all those things that he bought fine so basic approach kya hoga let's understand the basic approach for it so first of all get these inputs fine so if i write approach here then the first step that you are going to do is get the number of pizzas bought right first is this the second is get the number of puffs bought and alongside that get the number of cool drinks fine not cold drinks cool drinks bought fine now in this case 
what you can do is once you have taken the inputs now the main game starts of generating the bill how do you do that what you can do is multiply each input with corresponding cost fine sum of those costs equals to grand total fine and this grand total is nothing but bill fine so just a minute so the final bill that you will get is nothing but grand total only fine so that's how you can solve it out this is the basic approach of it fine very easy question not a very big question not some rocket science easy peasy so if you want i share this ppt if you want all these annotations all you need to do is go in the comments write down that we need ppt and our team will respond to you with proper community or group link where you can find this fine you'll basically find the link to my community fine so let's go ahead and let's understand the coding portion so this is the code piece that you will encounter or that you should use or you can solve through this now this is in c++ if you want to write it in java or python it's your wish so that's that's perfectly fine now here first thing is i introduced three variables num pizzas which is basically number of pizzas fine i don't like this color anymore here on the black screen so let's go ahead let's choose some interesting color so yes this seems good so number of pizzas number of puffs and number of cool drinks fine so here you have three particular variables for number of pizzas for number of puffs for cold drinks fine you have proper number for them so basically you are having an integer variable where you will store the basic number of pizzas or the count of pizzas that you bought simple yahan tak samajh aa gaya now you have entered price of each thing price pizza price puff price cool drink so it was already given to you right it was already given to you in the question itself here it was given so 100 for pizza fine 20 for uh, puff and 10 for cool drink fine so you set those particular values now after this what you can do is you see out basically you print on screen enter the number of pizzas bought fine so if i open the output panel for you this is the input panel rather i would choose some different colors for here so that better visibility can be there for you so let's take this so this is the input panel and this is the output panel for you fine so what you will have is you first of all print enter the number of pizzas bought fine right? number of pizzas bought so this is the output when this particular statement executes fine then what you do is you enter the input for example what was the input here 10 pizzas fine so i enter 10 here fine so now it has taken in account that num pizzas has value 10 fine so 10 would be assigned to this particular variable now the next thing that you get here is so basically if i if i write it here in a manner that the other output goes enter the number of puffs bought fine so what is happening here is you have just executed this statement fine now after executing this again it will take some value in the input so for example in input you put 12 as the value for the same same happens with the cool drinks enter the number of cool drinks fine in this case what will happen here you will add again this particular statement is executed so you will add again an input which will be assigned to number of cool drinks so how many cool drinks were there five cool drinks fine 
they are eating 10 pizzas with just five cold drinks strange but still let's let's stick to the question so in this case you have entered the inputs outputs for these now this total price if you see carefully this total price variable i have declared which is of integer type i am just multiplying the costs with this number theek hai bill simply kaise calculate karte hain aapne panch maan lo rotiyan li ek roti 10 rupaye ki hai fine so 5 into 10 50 aise hi hota hai na so similarly number of pizzas into price of pizza so number of pizzas was 10 price of pizza was 100 isn't it so 10 into 100 is 1 and now if you carefully see i had told you multiply each input with corresponding cost and sum of those so basically i am doing the sum alongside multiplying so number of puffs were 12 each puff was costing 20 rupees 12 into 20 and number of cool drinks were 5 there and into what 10 is the price great so if i if i write the 5 a bit better then 5 into 10 so this is basically the code piece now how will you solve it as simple as that so if you carefully see 10 into 100 is nothing but 1000 12 into 20 is nothing but 240 plus 5 into 10 is 50 so this is what 1290 right this is 1290 and hence forth what you will do is you will see out bill details so basically now in your output and we'll execute this on compiler as well don't worry so here first of all bill details this is printed then from new line number of pizzas are printed number of pizzas so this is nothing but 10 then number of rather i should write it properly so let's write it out number of puffs which was 12 number of cool drinks and from now on there are no cold drinks in the world only cool drinks okay so five cool drinks apart from this total price now total price you have already calculated you have already calculated the total price here the total price is calculated 1290 so all you do is you write total price 12 Nine zero, which is the value of this total price. Fine. This particular value. Fine. You have to print this out, and the question is solved. So let's let's check it on a compiler as well. चलते हैं compiler पे और check करके देखते हैं whether this is working or not. Whether this particular code piece is correct or not. Let's check it over a compiler. Okay. So let's check now over the compiler. that whatever we did whatever we understood in the powerpoint whatever we understood on the slide whatever code we watched is it correct or not so this is the same code i have just added end l after every output that we were giving enter the number of pizza what just just for a new line the same code exact same code what i am doing here is in the input panel i am adding the same input 10 number of pizzas 12 number of puffs and let's go ahead and enter this out so five gold rings fine so when i run this piece of code what will happen let's see so 1290 same result no changes so our code is working perfectly now let's take some different some different input fine so if i say that your input was five pizzas 10 puffs and 10 cold drinks in this case what would have happened so if i generally calculate through this code so what will happen 5 into 100 plus 10 into 20 is the price for it fine 20 and 10 cold drinks worth 10 rupees only so in this case 100 rupees of cold drinks 200 rupees of puffs and 500 rupees of pizza so basically this is 
800 fine so that should be the total bill if this is the input 5 10 10 fine so let's go ahead let's try using a different input here fine let's let's try using a different input so here we try adding a different input so i was like five pizzas right and 10 cold drinks and then 10 sorry 10 puffs and then 10 cool drinks so yes that was the input so let's check whether the bill is 800 rupees or not so it is 800 rupees this complete function is correctly working this complete code piece is correctly working and that's what we needed so henceforth this question is solved for you an easy question and you will get such questions but the people who haven't practiced programming at all you need to practice this a lot alongside this if you are somebody who's preparing for product based companies i have a free resource for you and this is this is the gist of what i could prepare you simply type top 150 not out prep insta on google and you will get this link you simply click on it if you solve these 150 questions that you're seeing on the screen right now if you solve this 150 questions you need not solve 200 300 500 lead code problems if you solve these 150 on earth any company be it google adobe mang fang whatsoever fine you will clear any company in this world fine so this 150 list is necessary you should study this you should revise this with this you can crack any product based company and now if you need this ppt i have told you what to do i have told you all you need to do is comment fine and comment and ask our team nudge us so much that we give you this ppt fine so that's pretty much about this and henceforth i'll request you to subscribe this channel if you want such interesting content and try sharing the knowledge keep doing good for others good will come back to you thank you have a wonderful day